Hello and welcome to the J Sparrow Start programming channel. My name is Ben and today I want to address a topic that is really extremely important for beginners. Today it's all about correct and logical programming thinking. We will deal with what actually programming thinking is, how to get it and what it's good for. After you like this video and subscribe to this channel, I would say let's get started. If you want to learn to code, then there are two important things you need to learn. First, you have to learn how to use a programming language. So you have to learn about the structure as well as how to apply these different concepts of the programming language. And then there is a second thing to learn, namely to learn to think like a programmer. I have often mentioned that you can think of a programming language as a tool. And of course, you have to be able to master a tool. You have to learn how to use this tool, which means you have to be able to use a programming language. To really master a tool and to know how to use it in which scenarios and with which problems you need one thing above all. Experience. And that's what I think a lot of programmers still have to learn. Thinking like a programmer means that you think very abstractly, that you can really visualize the flow of programs in your head before you write them. And you can then implement this from your head in the programming language, which means the tool itself. Programming thinking, however, cannot be learned through tutorials. This means that you really have to acquire programming thinking in practice, while you can really acquire the programming language, the tool, through tutorials. I know there are many programmers who feel that they understand how to work with a programming language, but they also feel that they often reach their limits when for example reading other developers code because they can't really understand the logical flow of it. Or they often have problems when they want to implement their own programs in general because they don't really know how to proceed. And I would like to say right now that this is completely normal and you should not let it discourage you under any circumstances. The programming tool is the programming language and all of their features and programmer thinking is your experience that you put on. And of course you need this experience to implement really complex things or be able to understand certain logical processes directly. And that's why I keep saying that you should implement your own projects after you've watched tutorials because you can only gain this experience in practice. For example, while we can let you fix your bugs with our free version of Captain J Sparrow and also show you Java best practices while you code, that can be helpful always, but it just isn't enough to make it right to become a really good programmer, because above all you need practice. You really have to tackle a small project of your own and collect several hours. Just collect programming hours and code as much as possible because that's the only way to really acquire programming thinking. And eventually you will see that it clicks in your head. It was exactly the same when I was learning to program. I always watch tutorials first and try to copy those tutorials. At some point I always had this limit that I only refer to these tutorials. So I always had this inner limit because I didn't have the programming thinking myself. And later I said to myself, come on. Just do something yourself, even if it turns out to be total rubbish. Just program a bit, and yes, it was mostly total rubbish, I have to admit, but I really taught myself to think in this way. And today, it's the case that in most situations, I really know immediately how to implement things, because my head is programmed that way, and that just comes with time. So don't get discouraged if you don't have this thinking yet. When I first had the feeling that it clicked in my head, I had about 750 to 1000 hours of programming behind me. And that happened when I really internalized all of these things and also understood how to implement logical processes in the code myself. That's just how it is with programming. All this only comes with a lot of experience, but of course this path is also fun and as soon as you implement your first own projects, you will see that it is really very nice to learn all these things and just to be creative and apply these things. And over time you will become a really good programmer. And I want to mention one more thing. Of course, I still have my weaknesses when it comes to programming. You never stop learning and of course, there are situations where someone tells me or shows me something and I don't directly understand what exactly is happening. Sometimes, even as an experienced programmer, you don't really know how something works in some logical processes and you have to really think about it first. That takes time. So don't feel stupid if you don't understand things directly. This is completely normal when programming and just enjoy this hobby. Don't put so much pressure on yourself, just try to implement things and over time as I said, it will become something. In that sense, that's it with this video and I hope I was able to bring you a little closer to how better acquire this logical programming thinking because it is an important topic after all. 
If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and if you want to become a good programmer, then also subscribe to this channel because we upload new videos regularly and therefore you will be confronted with it. With this in mind, I wish you a wonderful day, have fun programming and goodbye.